JJJ, you already know. It's your boy Joe back at it again, man. Codingface.com. Your boy is backing out and did it again, kid. We ain't here live. Oh my god, man. I just finished watching this video right now from this kid, Omar Suriel. Um, Omar Suriel. Vamos a decir lo dominicano, el estilo dominicano, tú sabes que lo que. Ooh, yeah, me quité. All right, so. <laughs> Dominican slang, you know what I mean? But yo, oh my god. This has to be the best video out there. Like, yo, Oman, man, <laughs> my name, yo, thank God for this kid, that this kid is alive. <laughs> yo, this video is so good. Every single self-taught developer needs to see this. Literally, everybody who's watching any tutorials on YouTube, anybody who's um, watching anything on Udemy, Team Treehouse, my website, I'm gonna reach out to him to see maybe if I could put his video on my website just because this should be like your the video for people to be like, hey, this is how it is at work. Your first date. There hasn't been a video this good ever. I've seen everybody's video. I was thinking about doing, you know, right now. This is exactly what I was gonna do. Is my first day as a first as a developer, right? So I'm googling it to see. Is somebody already did it and then I realized I'm like wait I know I've seen this kit somewhere man so okay so let's go back into his video <laughs> yeah this video this video so like I felt I don't know man like literally like <laughs> you know you can make fun of me whatever like my eyes got watery right my eyes got watery I'm the type of person that if I see a movie and that movie reminds me of something that has happened to me in the past, my eyes get watery. It's like I get emotional, right? I'm watching this video and it just brought me back. You know, it brought me back to that time when I was like, man, I was working in really bad jobs. You know, I was just like, man, I don't know how I'm gonna do this. I, I need to get in the game. I need to somehow make it. I need to somehow, I was like, I remember this. And I was like, man, I don't wanna go back to this type of work that I used to do. Like. I just want the opportunity, man. And I work hard to really get to where I'm at right now. And I'm like, man, I'm looking at this video. And this kid reminds me so much of me at that moment, man. And like, you know, from everything, just realizing the type of job that it is to become a developer, you know, realizing when you first go that first day and you're like, man, I'm, you know, I have a, a, a good job now, you know, and it's like all this work that I put in, actually paid off at the end and then like everybody's super cool of course you're gonna find people who are a-holes uh there's people who are good in every industry right but there's a certain type of quality of life that it guarantees you right and just the environment you know when you work in a big company you're like man this is really good you know what i mean and he didn't say on um, the company that he works on but it seems like he works in, in a legit place, you know, it's like, you know, a, a place, if they're using peer pro programming, they is a legit place, like, most companies, they don't have time for that, you know, like, unless it's like a, a really big corporation, so, you guys gotta watch this video, man, this video is that good, man, and like, I just, it hit my, you know, it hit me right here, because I was like, man, I'm so happy for this kid. Like, literally, I'm so happy for him. Like, I haven't been this happy in a long time, man. And I'm watching his, his video, and I'm like, man, this is so cool. You know, I don't know. I don't even know what to say. It's like, it, it got me emotional. I'll be honest. I, it got me emotional because, you know, there's a lot of good things that I have now. And even now that I take in, you know, I take for granted, like, you know, like, quality of life that I have, things that I, I do, I can afford anything that I want, I could get anything that I want, you know what I mean, and I'm looking at this video, and I'm like, man, that was me, like, years ago, you know what I mean, like, five years ago, when I was like, you know, uh, you know, working and, and freaking at the mall, you guys, I keep saying this, like, you know what I mean, like, yes, I, I at the moment when I first decided to switch, um, you know, to become a full-time developer, I was working in Wall Street as an IT, but right before that job, I was working 
on Armani Exchange, got fired, and then ended up working in the same mall on the parking lot. You don't know how 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 bad that makes you feel like, right? Like imagine working in the store and then they're like, hey, you're fired. You there's no more work here. So now you still got your the same bills, you still got the same things. Now you're working in the parking lot. You know what I mean? Like people like us, we don't have no no you know no pillows to fall back on. We don't have no mommy and poppy to hold us down. We don't have none of that stuff. It's like we have to make it ourselves. We pretty much the first generation here. You know, when we get here, it's like we making our stories. You know what I mean? We're like the pilgrims when it comes to this, right? And hearing him, like I know he he came from the bottom. I, I could tell that he really appreciate what he has, you know. And that really, you know, it really humbled me. You know, it made me feel real humble. I was like, yo, I gotta appreciate and and really love what I'm doing. Like there's days I'm like, ah oh, man, I, why am I still coding? I, I should be trying to switch to something else. And I'm like, man, I got a really good opportunity. You know, I, I could do anything that I want. I really worked hard to get to the level that I am, how I'm going to switch it to something completely different after all the work that I, I put in to get to this, this level. But man, this is such a good video, guys. You guys got to watch it. I want every single person, every single person who watches this video, if you respect my opinions, you respect my, my, you know, my experience and, and the advice that I give you, Go subscribe to this kid because, you know, he dropped this video in August 30th. He hasn't dropped another video. I want him to drop more videos because I want to continue here in his journey. I want to know what projects he's working on, you know, like there's like one of those people that you just like, man, I want to know more about him. Right. Right now, he only has 204 subscribers, but he got a couple of thousands of views. Right. But that doesn't matter. This kid is like, this is the real true story behind everything, every, everything, everybody. This is what I wish I would have done from the beginning. If I was here years ago where I could have documented my whole journey of, you know, as I continue to learn, as I continue to build projects and, and do things online, this is the, the, the first stage where he's at right now, you know, becoming a self-taught developer, being able to get a good job, you know, I understand everything that he's going through. I went through the same thing where you get hired as a contractor from a, a third party, but you still working on this big company and you're like, man, you grateful you got this opportunity and that opportunity is going to lead for him to be working in that company full time, like 100% directly to the company. Because when you're a good employee and you know how to do your work and you really put in that extra hours, guys, at the end of the day, even though you might come into a, a job as a contractor, they're going to give you that job, right? Because that position needs to be filled, all right? They don't want people coming in and out. So it's like if they love you and they care about you in that company, you're going to hold that position, and that's yours. You know what I mean? And sky's the limit for this kid, man. Like, I really just, I don't even know what to say, guys. Like, I love this video. This, like my number one video that I'm going to tell every single person when they ask me, hey, how is it the first day at work? Especially as a self-taught developer, watch this, man. Like, this is like the best video. And, you know, I really feel bad because sometimes I get so many comments and I feel I haven't been able to, you know, uh, reach out back to him. You know, and I really, I, I'll be honest, I really feel like ish right now. I don't want to curse, but I feel like ish. <laughs> you guys fill it up. But I really feel like ish because he has reached out to me and like he's leave comments. So he, he watches almost all the videos that I drop. And I really appreciate that, man. Because I feel like I don't know him personally, but I feel like I know him just from this video alone. Just the type of person that he is. And like... He reminds me so much of like my like my cousins, my little cousins from the uh, like and then it's like to see him doing this right now is like I'm I'm really proud of him. And I could tell he's Dominican. So it's like I'm definitely proud to see another Dominican in the industry. 
especially because I know exactly what like you know he was talking about. He's like, man, every you know the typical developer that you think like, oh, th that's exactly how developers look. That's exactly how the <laughs> you go to a company, everybody looks the same. Everybody's wearing the little Star Wars Star Trek shirts or you know the little button down shirt, super tight and tucked in and looking weird and stiff. You know. <laughs> <laughs> you know that's just me joking but yeah it happens so it's like a lot of times you go in there and you're like man i don't even know like i go in into places I, I got some type of you know i go into places with some type of sauce you know what i mean it's like do i fit in do people like me do you know what i mean like all those thoughts go through your head you know what i mean and it's really good to see somebody speak about it and and just speak about it in a really nice way. You know, because sometimes people think of me and be like, oh, he talks about certain things in, in a cocky way. Guys, I've been in this industry for five, six years, right? And sometimes I do be uh, like <laughs> sounding cocky, but it's not really because I want to sound cocky. It's more of a way to break myself up, you know, because I've been in, in really bad situations, you know, in really good situations, you know what I mean? So, the bad situations make me feel a certain, a certain way, so I just, I lift myself up. I don't need nobody else to lift me up. I lift myself up, you know what I mean? So, talking back about this 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 video, is like, you know, it's like, it's just legit. It's a real, uh, a real video. People need to watch it. Every single self-taught developer should watch this because, especially for you guys, you know, like, most of my audience is people that come in from regular jobs, man. Like, that's something that he talked about, you know, working in warehouses, working in factories and working in, you know, manufacturing. Like, that's a lot of people. There's like, man, all they want is just a, a comfortable job. They want to be able to do something that they love and, and, and be comfortable and, and get to, you know, have fun at the job at the same time. Not a lot of people have the luxury that we have to, you know, go into a job with a smile. You go into the, most of these jobs you know, miserable, like, oh, man, I got to go over there. I got to, you know, stand at this door, you know, be a security guard. I got to go to uh, the restaurant and, you know, flip burgers. I got to go to, you know, the freaking warehouse with the high lows and, you know, a whole bunch of dudes in there, super hot in the summer, sweating, and, like real stuff, real, real life things, man. You know, and it's just really good seeing this kid in here, man, you know, and I, like I said, like he has reached out to me. He has left comments, you know, has told me, hey, check out this video. I haven't had the chance. I just haven't had the chance because there's so many people that uh, hit me up and I try to try to comment as much as I can with everybody and, and talk to everybody. Because like I said, every single one of you guys have a good story. Every single one of you guys is a good person, you know, so it's like. That's what I tell you guys. When I come here, I, I think of you guys as friends. I'm not, you know, it's like I'm hanging out with my friends. I'm not here uh, being fake with, with other people. You know, when people that are not my friends, I act a completely different way. You know, people ask me all the time, like, man, Joe, is this how you are all the time with, you know, your job or this and that? I'm like, no, not really. This is how I act with my friends, you know, in a closed environment, you know, so it's like I consider you guys, all of all of you guys, like my friends and like people that I, I, I relate to. So it's like sometimes I wish I could just get in contact with every single one of you guys, get to listen to your stories, get to listen to your background, get to find out when you got a job, when, you know, you, you've been working, you know, hopefully uh, me and Omar, we could get together work on something together uh, i'm pretty sure he's probably out here in the east coast so maybe we could link up you know i wouldn't mind being his friend <laughs> like you know as weird that sounds but you know it's like sometimes you know you don't find that many people that are like you in this industry right it's like we are the glitches of the matrix that's how i look at it we're the glitches of the matrix, right? Like, to some people, they'll be like, oh, this people not supposed to be here. Some people are supposed to be working on something else. Or, you know, you might you might feel a certain way. You might be like, man, I don't know if I'm going to fit in. I don't know if I'm going to do this and that. If I'm going to be able to be good. There's guys that's way smarter than me. There's this and that. 
But sometimes you just need to really like, you know, have a community and talk to other people. Like, you know, I haven't, I haven't even met that many Dominicans who really do web development like that at all. They might be like me and Edwin Diaz, you know what I mean? <laughs> like besides that, I don't even know who else. I think 84 Music is Dominican. He's trying to get in this game, uh, you know. Um, but I don't know that many Dominicans doing this thing, right? You know what I mean? So seeing him and, and, and you know, like I wouldn't mind just kicking it back with him. Like, yo, bro, we just got to work something. You know, it's like whatever knowledge I could throw at him, whatever, anything that I can help him out, I'm open to help him out. Like, it's just great, man. And for you guys, every single person right now, I'm being honest right now, I want you guys to go to this video. I'm going to link it on my description, but I want you guys to go to this video and leave a comment, press uh, upvote it, right? Click like, click subscribe, go right here in the comments and be like, yo, Joe sent me. We here. The community's here. Leave that comment. Joe sent me. The community's here. We here to support. Right? This kid is dope, man. Like, straight up. It's a good kid. I could tell he's a good kid. He's a, a hard worker. And, man, I'm just telling you, you got to watch this video. All right, guys? It's your boy Joe back at it again. CodingFace.com. Your boy's back and out and did it again. And listen, guys, if you want to check out the description below, you know, after you watch his video and you want to check out my website, codingface.com, 50% off automatically just because he came from YouTube. You know what I mean? Automatically you get 50% off every course on Udemy just because he came from YouTube. Go check it out, man. Love you guys. Stay up. All right? Make sure you subscribe to this kid, man. I want his, his videos out here. I want him to get motivated to release more videos. I want him to... You know, feel more comfortable with the camera. And we want to know his story. We want to see his journey as a developer. You know what I mean? Like, I'm interested. You know what I mean? So, definitely, Omar Suriel. Uh, you already know my... <laughs> I'm about to curse. I'm out of here because I'm about to curse. Yeah, no, quitamos de aquí. What?